Let's bring in former FBI special agent, Fox News contributor Nicole Parker, along with criminal defense attorney and federal litigator Vic Bajaj. Thank you both for coming in. And also of note as well, 19 hijackers, 13 of them arrived in the United States in the year 2001, six of them in the year 2000. It doesn't take a lot of yep. time for them to do the planning once they arrive here. It's dangerous. It is very dangerous, and not only are they free to roam the U.S., Vic Bajaj, but they have sanctuary laws and policies. You come to California, you go to New York, you go to Illinois, you are protected again. And it makes you wonder when Vice President says we're here to fix the border and President Trump is getting in the way, what is fixing the border when all the laws locally handcuff local law enforcement right. from deporting people or even detaining them, what is the end goal? And then on the federal side, I encourage all of our viewers and listeners, go to your local federal court, mm -hmm. sit down there and take a, a list of all the people that are being arraigned on serious criminal offenses, whether it's weapons, whether it's illegal communications, illegal items that are hazardous materials that are somehow related to aiding and abetting terrorism activities. It only takes one, Trace, and I remember this in 20 years of dealing in federal litigation now, it only takes one to come on into our soil and then recruit dozens to cause the harm that Nicole Parker so eloquently describes. It's truly frightening, and one has yep. to wonder, to what end? And FoxNews.com writes the following. Scathing report reveals Biden-Harris administration has released dozens of migrants on terror watch lists. Border Patrol has encountered migrants on the terror watch list from 36 countries, including places with active terror presences. Those countries include Afghanistan, Iraq, Lebanon, Pakistan, Somalia, Syria, Tajikistan, and Yemen. And that's a big part of the equation. It's not just they're coming in. It's from where they're coming in. The report also found that immigration judges granted bond Vic Bajaj to 27 migrants on the watch list. And no surprise there. There was such a big push. So many people are coming on into the country and we're inundated with a lack of judges to either stamp or really go through a methodical research on whether people should be admitted. The question is not how do you deal with the people that are coming in illegally. Mm -hmm. The question should be how do you stop it yeah. so that you don't have to fund the immigration judges who many times have to make a split second decision because there's 20 or 30 individuals on the other side of the door. And a three year waiting list behind them. That's Vic correct. Bajaj, Nicole Parker, thank you both.